All right, I'm gonna run you through uploading video to the website. Um, so here I am on the help video <coughs> uh, page, logged in. Um, the you're gonna see one new uh, icon um, on the editor when you log in here. It's this guy right here. Um, all videos plug in. It says um, this lets you add a, a video wherever you like. Um, come down to the bottom here and uh, hit this and it asks you for either audio or video um, and uh, lets you either uh, insert a URL or uh, browse from the server. Um, now I'm going to recommend that you not uh, browse from the server. I've been looking over, uh, over that option and rather than hosting your own video uh, I think you're going to find you're going to have an easier time if you um, host your video on YouTube. Um, Vimeo is another site that's a good option as well. Um, it's either one works, works up to you, easy enough. Um, the big difference is that uh, if you go through YouTube, you're not going to have the headache of uh, various file formats. If you try to host your own uh, video, um, there are particular uh, types of video that will not uh, play off your site. Um, however, if you upload them to uh, YouTube, uh, YouTube converts them um, into a co common file format uh, that will work off your site. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to be concerned about getting video from someone of the wrong type and trying to figure out how to convert it. Um, it is not self-contained with uh, on your site, but you're going to spend less time beating your head against the wall. So, uh, with that, um, I'll run you quickly through uploading um, uh, video to YouTube. Um, you'll have to create an account. Um, once you do, it's just a matter of signing in. Um, it's uh, connected to uh, Gmail, so if you already have a Gmail account, fine. Uh, if you don't, uh, it's not a problem. The uh, um, YouTube will walk you through just creating a YouTube account. Um, in the top right these days, we've got the uh, little uh, icon that uh, has all your user-specific information. Um, if you don't have an account, I imagine you'll be creating one uh, for uh, CPL in general. Um, name it whatever you like, it doesn't matter. The important thing is the video manager. You click on the video manager and uh, this is where you can see videos that uh, you already have here um, and is where you can go to upload more. Where's that button? <laughs> Uh, take it back the uh, to upload a file you've got the little upload link um, I think this is always here um, so you shouldn't have to search for it too hard um, uploading video is is as easy as um, going to the video on the computer um, picking one here's your donations uh, video that we uploaded a while ago hitting open once must have hit it twice. Um, and it's off. That's all all there is to it. Um, you can uh, you can change the uh, title of the video. You can do a few uh, configuration things while it's uploading. Um, it's off and running. Um, the uh, only uh, thing you probably want to pay attention to here is the privacy setting. Um, I don't see any problem with you uh, leaving uh, these videos public. If anything, it's probably a uh, good additional exposure for your uh, uh, site uh, for the uh, 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 CPL in general. Um, if, uh, if, however, you have a video that you only want people to see through your site, if you want to uh, force them there instead of letting them uh, see it in two different places, letting Google uh, catalog it and stuff. Um, you can make it private. Um, it's still uploading. You can uh, 
it'll save automatically on its own. You can tell it to save. You can do this how, however you want. You can ignore it. The only thing you can't do is close that tab while it's uploading. Um, when it's done uploading, um, it'll show you a, uh, a link to the video and uh, you click on that and it'll take you to a page. Uh, it, I believe it will usually take you to a uh, page that any user would see if they uh, were looking at the video, which is what we're looking at now. Um, getting it into uh, um, Joomla is really simple. You just go up to the uh, URL there, uh, cut that URL, copy that to the clipboard, um, come back here, drop in the URL, um, and uh, you do want to make sure it says video and hit OK. Um, this uh, is how Joomla knows um, which uh, which site you're using because remember you can use a number of different sites. Uh, I'll show you that in just a second. Uh, Vimeo is another uh, option that is very popular, maybe even better than YouTube. I'll let you explore that. Um, the uh, there's a little string of characters that identifies that particular video. Um, when you're editing the page, this is what your video will look like. When you are done editing the page and hit save, um, it'll load the video up in the browser, um, just the way you hope it will. Little pause button, play button. We can uh, play a video in this video. Okay, I want to show you guys how to. That's very satisfying. Um, and that is all about about all you need to do in order to uh, get a video up. Um, the one last thing I would like to show you is uh, the resource guide for this uh, um, aspect of Joomla. Um, I put a link to this uh, page and it has a little additional information that you shouldn't need unless you want to uh, start doing something tricky, unless you get caught up with uh, file extension types, etc., unless you want to start um, uh, putting um, video on your site from something other than uh, YouTube. Um, this uh, big chart we're looking at here uh, shows you um, the different sites that um, you can use through this. You'll notice there's more than enough here. Um, and these are the most popular ones. So if, uh, you know, if someone sees a video on some uh, uh, on some other site, Ustream perhaps, maybe it's a uh, televised conference that you want to uh, uh, link to on your site as well, uh, this page is a, a good reference tool. Um, come on over here and um, usually what you'll do is just just like we did with YouTube, um, you'll just take this uh, URL and plop it right into Joomla. Um, what, what I wanted to show you here is very much a just-in-case uh, kind of thing. If for some reason that uh, URL, uh, you drop it in and for some reason it doesn't work, uh, just pull up this page and uh, find the corresponding site, find the URL that you uh, should have used, and um, this uh, this little table just shows you that this string uh, is the important part of this URL. Um, so you can, uh, instead of, uh, if it doesn't work the first time, instead of uh, dropping this whole URL in, um, you can pull out that string and uh, just type it in uh, with these little uh, tags before and after. Um, we, we saw that uh, set of tags exactly in our uh, uh, Joomla page, um, but the same would apply if um, you want to use uh, Vimeo, which I mentioned. You know, This is the URL, but the important uh, thing, the thing that identifies that video um, and that is guaranteed to make it uh, come up in your web page is this. So that's an if all else fails backup, just good to have. That should get you going.